Okay, well, I am live. Oh, look, you can see some of the stuff I got here. That is a quartz dragon that I did a couple of days ago. Which I'm really excited about. You can tell how big it is by my fingers. Oh, I've got teriyaki all over my fingers. Isn't that nice? Teriyaki! <laughs> I was making some hamburgers with teriyaki in them. I like Linda. Oh man, everybody's showing up at once. Hi Don. Hi Lyndon. I, I, I said that wrong. I, Lindian. Lindian. I think that's the way I want to pronounce that. Thought it was blood. Yeah, no. It's it was. See, it's teriyaki. It just looks. Life goes on. But anyway. I am sitting here and I'm going to be doing, I've got a few little odds and ends I want to do, maybe make some conch shells or something. And uh, also I am going to do a hand, oh, let there be light. And I am going to zoom back just a little bit, lead the in, well, we'll let that happen, I'll let you this time, but next time. <laughs> Yeah, my first name. Oh, okay. Hey, my first name is Lucian, so that's a crazy, I wouldn't say a crazy name, but I have to admit it goes with me because it's light giving, and what am I doing? Putting my fingers in a lot of light there. You know how that works. Anyway, now, oh, I was cleaning my table, and I found these. I make a lot of them. I just do the twisties and make them long enough and I, I then turn around and put a loop on top of them and give them out as Christmas ornaments. And I had about two or three of them on my table so I'm going to sit here and go loop de loo here. Lydian. I like that. Names of me are like the Atlantic Ocean, is what I tell people. Most of them go right on over my head. But eventually, they do sink in. So, that's my story on... And there's another one that just needs a little bit of a, a loop-de-loo going on. And I come out different each time. And it's a lot of scrap glass that I usually... And it's dusty, holy cow. Didn't realize that until I started melting with it but yeah um i'll actually show you one real quick christmas is coming up people like them on their christmas tree can't complain there right 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 just a little bit of a chunk on the end here so we're going to pull that out into a point there you go. Now, let's do that. I'll, do I have any chunk of glass that I can choose from real quick? Looking in my scraps to see if I have anything. Of course, I've been cleaning lately, so I don't have many scraps. Actually, we'll use this probably right about there you only need about an inch and this is about 12 mil no this is about 10 mil um, 10 mil rod you don't need much to, to and here's another little trick too that I can show you to make an icicle instead of doing just flat like that one was if you do squares or you know a four-sided figure like so because each one of those corners becomes part of the twist I was looking on your site how hard is it is the wizard oil lamp well 
it's not that hard for me to do it's just making the body hollow and um, if you're interested in it um, probably the beginning of next week I can get something out to you that's the best I could do on short notice but okay you see the you see the four corners and it's not really it doesn't have to be exact or, or, or and if you're interested in something in a certain size range or price range I can do that too and I am PayPal ready so all you got to do is just tell me what you want I'll send you an invoice and look at that as it twists it looks like it's twisting twice as hard because of the four corners see there and now I'll put a loop at the top here Hi, Tyler. There we go. And when I do the loop, I sort of do like a question mark or a hook. Yeah, I know I make it look easy, but I've been doing it since 1982. It's just practice, practice, practice and more practice but you gotta admit this is a good angle for you to learn from you know at least you can see all my I guess you could say my twist and turn secrets it's all in making sure that the glass flows for you making sure that the glass is going to do what you want it to do and I will give you a little word of advice don't fight the glass the glass will always win but if you work within the glasses parameters and properties you melt it just right you put things just right with it there's nothing that can stop you from doing anything and everything that you want to do you just you graduated from high school I graduated in 79 so In 82, 1982 was the year that I started doing glass blowing, though. And yeah, go 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 look on the internet in 1982. There was a lot of internet videos to, on glass blowing then, for sure. That's why I had to learn the hard way. Okay, what I'm going to do is go, I'm going to make a hand, and I figure uh, either this position or this position well, there we go well, I can't well I can do it over here this position or this position where you say I let you know I that one anyway we'll see how it comes out either the I love you or live long and prosper which one do you think I should do Yeah, glass blowing is in my, I wouldn't say my DNA, but it is in my conscious thought even when I'm not at the torch doing glass. Live long? Okay. We old, so live long and prosper. <laughs> I like that. That sounds like a good idea. That's it. We're going to do that for you then. <laughs> yeah, that's my best uh, Walter Brennan. Yeah, gummy, that's right. I've got to do that. That's right. Walter Brennan, that's right. If you're wondering who he is, he's Stumpy from a couple of John Wayne movies. Okay, the thumb is not that hard to do everybody can do a thumb I think well you digit it out and then put a little crook to it making sure that you're sealing it together well and I have the outer flame on but I just took it off because you only need to do a single flame to do most of the work with this okay
Now, we're actually even going to take it down another little notch. See, I started, I think this is about 8 mil or maybe 6 or 7 mil. And what I have in my right hand is 5. So that's what we're going to make the, the, the fingers out of. Making sure that I seal them to the, the base of the palm. Go up. One down, four to go, right? One, one finger, ah, 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 ah. No, okay, that is showing my age, never mind. It's also fun trying to make sure you don't reheat the fingers that you've already put on there, which is, you know, one of those things. And, you, and you're looking, you got to make sure, like on your hand, like on your hand, you've got the fingers at different heights and adjustments to make it all work right. Okay, two more to go. Oop, I dropped it into something, either that or using the other side. Let's do this. Again, I'm trying to stay away from where I've... That's where the single flame is coming in really, really handy. Stay away from what I've already melted and pulled out into the fingers. Then the final finger. Yeah, I had to give this guy the finger. Or a, a few of them anyway. There we go. Now, I've got all the fingers. Now I can start adjusting them to where I want them. And if you wanted to, um, you know, bend them to start counting or to have the I love you symbol or I'll show you also another way of doing this that might work as well for you. It's just a matter of time and patience. There we go. Again, you could sit there and put tons and tons and tons of detail on these things if you wanted to. That is your prerogative. I am just giving you what I call the direction to go in so that you can feel like, hey, I've accomplished something, if in, you know what I mean. And now we're going to put the, uh, if I can hold on to this thing, I'm going to put a loop here for the finger. Like so. There we go. Seal it together pretty good. And the next one, we's gonna add some fume into it, silver fume. And here we go, we're gonna take it off. And now we're gonna work on the other side. What makes hands and feet and body parts and faces so hard? Hey Jared, doing pretty good tonight. Um, what makes hands and feet and body parts so hard to really do is that you've already said to yourself, I cannot make them because they are body parts and I can't make them look good. So that's half of your battle. But once you realize that 
you make it shape on shape, then you can actually see you got the basic uh, rectangular going on for the hand pad. And then you got the fingers that you stick out and you just do four sticks. And then you get the thumb. You just gotta take it one step at a time and work it. You don't have to, and again, you can put detail. Here we go, I'm gonna put some grooves in the, in the palm. Lights, whoops, where'd that sucker go? There it is, oops. I, I, I accidentally on purpose put it down. Here we go. I was starting to do the uh, grooves. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt this this way a little bit. So you can see this pad back here. Which is what I'm going to do most of the heating on to make the press it in there with. To do the, the lifeline. Again, you can put as much detail into it as you want, or as little as you want. It's your own prerogative. I think I put may it now made it. Oh, I probably used the wrong hand for, for piece of it long and possible. We'll get there. Yeah, this is kick it. That'll work. Now we're gonna silver fume it. I just happen to have some silver fume on this Puente right here. Yeah, it's alive. I, I yeah, <laughs> not quite. Okay, when you're doing fuming, silver fuming especially, I go down to a single flame source. See, I've got the outer ring and the inner ring, but at this point, the outer ring outer ring knob you can't see it uh, uh, no you can't see it at all okay never mind the outer ring because of you can't see it because of these but the outer ring itself it's um i take it completely off there it is with on that's off now that is the best way to do you don't need a real oxygenated flame when you're doing silver fuming it really does have problems with your work that way but once you start that little bit is sort of a, a elongated flame it's not a sharp flame when you're doing the silver fuming on the ox uh, on the pro gold fuming it's a totally different totally different act and if you look under my YouTube videos under the name Lou Libby and then you type in silver and gold fuming I have one where I compare the same type of figurines and fume the same with gold and the same with silver so that's my story and i'm sticking to it yeah the fingers are a little long but they'll do the trick again you're trying to make it look like but you could sit there and try to make it look exactly like if you wanted to it is your prerogative but to me you're trying to get your image across and if people think live long and prosper for the first time they picked it up and didn't have to you know say what is this is this an elephant or is this a cat or a dog can't tell then you got to work on it but if they can pick it up and say oh peace live long and prosper that's cool i like that i'll take three of those then you're doing your job if they can pick it up and say oh look it's an elephant i like that oh look it's a cat i like that see talk about elephants let's see if I can bring it up close no you can't uh, let's zoom out a little bit yeah I zoomed out just a little there's an elephant all silver fumed tubing that I made this out of that's ready to go it's a really sweet little piece now 
let's see what else do I got to do here um oh I got to do one heart pendant I'm gonna do some with um thank you somebody says very nice now I'm gonna do a, a heart pendant and I'm gonna do it with dicro And I'll show you how I do my dichro. Let me see. We're going to bring this into the picture. This is going to be sort of like the flattener so that you can see what's going on. Yeah, I try to. I try to. I, do, I try not to keep you in the dark. I try. Somebody says, I love your videos because you teach as you go. It's really nice for sure. I try to do that as teach as I go because. Um, and that way you know what's going on in my mind a little bit as well as what you're seeing in the in the torch and yes there's a lot that I can't explain it'd be like somebody coming up to you and asking asking you how do you hop on one leg you know you can do it but explaining the actual detail of how to hop on one leg there's balance involved there's muscles that you can't even explain what muscles you're using and so on and so forth but you can do it there's no problem to it. You can do it. Okay, we got... Oh, we're going to use this. Can I use this? Yeah, I can use this. This is going to look... Oh, look at that piece of die crow. But now i got to cut it up a little bit make it smaller. Now, this is the way I... Regular um, wire cutters. Put it side to side, put my fingers side to side, and nip. That time it didn't go as sharp as, as I wanted it to, but that's okay. I'll do it again. And nip. That one went just about where I wanted it to. And that's going to be my little piece of dichro. Okay. Now we're going to heat up this is how I do dichro. And this is a really quick and good trick, guys, for dichro. And that, you know, they tell you, oh, you got to do this, this, and this before you can make it look pretty. You ready for this? Simple, effective. First, I'm going to make a Maria that's big enough for that piece of dichro. Almost. You know what? I'm going to take it up a notch. Another thicker piece of glass here. Just to make sure I got it balanced and covered right. Uh, let's do this. There we go. It's over here on this side now. There's a piece of dichro. I'll set it right there. I stamp better with my right hand. Now, I'm going to make a Maria big enough for that piece of dichro, a little bit larger. Almost there. Press it down. And here we go. Heat it up. And we're going to press that right into that piece of cold dichro. Like so. Film side up. Film side up, guys. Pressed right into that piece of glass. And now you got that buffer so it doesn't burn the, the film. And I think I'm going to use... I think I got some dark blue here we're going to use for the, the backing of this heart. So the pink will show up really good, I think. We'll see. And I only put it to the edge of the dichro. Edge of the dichro. Now, tilt that up a little bit. So you can see I'm going to be Elmarvering it a little bit.
Pick it up a knot. I guess I could do it here too. Yeah, that's it. That's a ticket. Flatten that down a little bit more. Now I'm going to use that high precision cutting instrument again. Wait a minute, I need to play that down a little bit. Looking good so far. This is going to be a heart after I'm done. Okay. High precision cutting instrument. And pinch it off a little bit. Back and forth. And there you go. I'm going to put a cold seal on the bottom here. Look at that sweet color. Let me see if that works. Right? Right. Now we're just going to let it melt in a little bit. On the top. And I'm going to use a marble mold here. To round off the top a little bit. Gotta pinch a little bit of that off. Getting kind of slippy. Calibrated correctly. <laughs> that high precision cutting it. Yeah, that's calibrated correctly. Because it works in my hands. <laughs> I can calculate that that's calibrated. <laughs> I like your way of thinking. It's uh, uh, from multiple uses. Yes, that's what I like about a lot of my tools. And a lot of my tools, yes, you can buy the expensive stuff. But as you can see, I use pliers, I use tweezers, I use... Well, I use marble molds as well, so I, I do a little bit of everything. If I need it, I got it. If I don't got it, I need it. But I believe that old story if you can't be with the ones you love love the ones you're with right right if you can't be with the ones you love love the ones you're with do -do 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 -do. all right i know don't quit my day job flatten it out a little bit I think I gotta pull some of a side or two off just to get to the edge of the die curl. I usually try to round it in, but okay, almost there. Hold it here for a little bit. Got it off there. Oh yeah, you know that first time I did that cold weld, it broke off. You know it. Okay. Pinch it off here. And a little bit off this edge here. A little bit more. I usually don't like to waste glass, but sometimes you got to. Okay. That's probably going to be the bottom because it's already pointed. That's the bottom of the heart there. There. 
way up there. Now, get out another high precision cutting instrument. We used it a little while ago. Good old butter knife. A little bit of pinch coming off the top here. Never actually had a day job. There you go. I have had to in the past. But you know what? I would be nothing without my glass. I probably would still be something. I'd love to make people smile no matter what. I love to help people learn. But if I hadn't learned glass to teach it to others, I don't know what I'd do, what I, would, what I would have done. It's nice and hot at the moment, but the, uh, the shine is almost a cinnamon color. Which is pretty cool. Now we'll do a loop at the top, and that one is done. What a nice Puerto Rico. We're 24 at a time, so it's a nice end day. <laughs> I like your comments there. <laughs> I was wondering about that. Wow, a lot of things have been... Okay, I didn't understand that. For some reason, it stopped moving, and I, I, it was saying things, and I didn't know who was making all the comments. But now I do. I, I scrolled down. Duh. I'm 60 years old. you got to admit, I have a few technical fugalties with, with some of these can traps and you guys got to make things work. That's for what I've done, giving you a bird's eye view of the glass, making you feel like you're right here. I'm the same way playing music. So what do I play? I used to play the French horn a long time ago. Now I just play the radio. <laughs> Why not, right? Actually, my, my, my medium of choice to watch or media of choice to watch or, li or listen to is actually TV. And even when I'm going down the road, I don't watch it. I watch old, like, Star Trek Next Generation that I've seen 20 times that I know what they're doing or movies like The Matrix, which I've seen 30 or 40 times. So I know what's going on in the movie and know what, what it's just, just to keep my mind going. So, yeah, I start listening to music while I'm driving and I start going. Oh, here we go. I'll show you some other stuff that I've done recently. Play the drums. Can't really tell what that is until... Oh, 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 oh. And then I also have done these skull impressions, which turn out really, really good. You were, my brother played saxophone. Um, we were there. We were like 12 years apart, so so uh, didn't really get a chance to play music with him. But I helped inspire him with his artwork before before I did glass blowing. I did. Pencil was my medium, drawing. I, I I did pass that on to him and his other brother, my other younger brother, uh, gave them the inspiration to do a lot of artwork. So that, I have to admit, I enjoyed. Um, here is the Star Trek. Ready to go. And here is the, uh, let me see, 
Here's another one that I did earlier. And let's see, I've also got a couple other pieces here on my table. That's another thing, you guys, You, when you look at my videos, you gotta look around the outside edges of my glass blowing stuff, and you'll see little figurines and all sorts of stuff, either a little disarrayed or a little bit askew that all you got to do is look and say oh look there's one of that's that piece and oh i remember him making that piece because i i keep them around for a little while but yeah i love my love my tiki heads they have a lot and let's see one more or two more things if you have a request now's the time and i will think about doing it and uh i can try to Oh, looks like Heather's here. I didn't even know that. Hi, Heather. You haven't said much. Be that way. Yeah, I'm going to be shut down for a couple of days. I've got some things that's got to be done. But by Saturday, I'll probably be back on live and doing things. I have I screenshot and zoom in. Love the tiki head. That was cool. Um, yeah, matter of fact, let me do one. And then again, I got, I got to go. But I, I've, I've been, you know, it's one of those things I wanted to get out here and do this one video before all said and done. Let's do a little tiki head. Why not? We'll get there. Light the fires and kick the tires. Or light, kick the tires and light the fires. One of the three. Have you ever done a hummingbird? Oh, come on. You, that's like saying, is the sky going to be blue today? I've made hummingbirds. The reason that popped is that it stretched a little bit. This is silver fumed glass that I didn't put through the annealer. But I'm going to make a quick tiki head. Tiny one, pendant piece. Um, now, with the hummingbird, I will do one, but not today. Um, just keep looking up on my, uh, my, my channel and I'll see what I can come up with in the next... It's going to be at least um, sometime middle of next week. But if you look on my YouTube channels, hey Ray, if you look on my YouTube channels, all you got to do is type in Lou Libby, L-U Libby, L-I-B-B-Y, uh, on YouTube, and just put, uh, type in Hummingbird, like, and or if you wanted to see me make an elephant, or if you wanted to see me make a frog, I have tons of videos. Um, I have like 500, I say tons, I have 500 plus videos out there. I'm up to over 6,000 subscribers. Yay! It took me a long while. It's taken me almost six years. That's about an average of 1,000 a year, right? Right, right. This is the, going to be the Tiki head. Never caught you doing hummingbirds. My bad. No problem. It's not like... But I do them. I do hummingbirds. I do a little bit of everything. And the thing about mine is it's mostly figurines. Yes, I do uh, tobacco pipe stuff too, but most of what I do is figurines. Most people around. So that gives you... And there's some that do beads and marbles and all sorts of stuff. So it, it's... it's um, but that's my that's my uh, forte is figurines and tiny at that. Look on my my Facebook page. Actually, I'll put it down below in the comments. My um, my Facebook album of figurines. Actually, the first picture on the album is a. Um, let's kick this down a notch or two. My the first picture on the album is an elephant on the penny. Shows you what size range I can do. There's the eyebrows. 
I'm going to put spikes around the outside of the head. There we go. And then we're going to put a nose on this sucker. Make it longer. And now we'll put the nostrils. Yep, yep. Tweezers, tweezers, tweezers. Nope, too big. These will do it. Like I say, I use what's available to make it work for me. I think I'm going to still give them blue eyes. Now his mouth. There we go. And his ears. I was born in Hawaii. So I have the natural, I wouldn't say the natural instinct to do tiki heads, but I enjoy doing tiki heads. Oops. Let's get a little, hey, here we go. Pork on corners of mouth to pull it in the right direction. Yes, you're hearing a rooster in the background because I have my shed pointed right at his door and it's light out, even though here it's going on. Let's see. 12.30, he's, he's, he's crowing away. Sometimes, no matter what you do. And I'm going to quit this very, very quickly. And then I'm going to call it quits for the night. And I want to thank you guys for being out there, for sure. Um, let's see, we're going to do a clear loop or bail for the top. Why? Because I can. No problem, Don. I'll always try to share. And like I say, it's part of my giving back. Eventually, I might have to take something somewhere down the line. And if you can share, I'd appreciate it. But at this point, yeah, I've got like 6,000 plus subscribers on my YouTube channel. I've got over 500 videos. And right now I make an average of a little over two dollars a day through subscription, not subscriptions, but through uh, advertising, uh, the people who advertise on my channel, which is pretty interesting. In other words, I'm not making a fortune off of it, but pretty soon it should be able to take care of my internet bill and then some. If I polish that. And that one's done. Latin. Oh yeah. 
and here is it's still probably a little warm yeah I didn't put it in the oven yet but I'm going to a dicro thank you John um, as always I'm leaving for now thanks for being out there carpe vitro thanks for the audience that makes it half the fun for me um, and I do work better with people watching for some reason as always like I say carpe vitro and enjoy your day